Chapter 21 of Bunny Brown and His Sister Sue at Christmas Tree Cove by Laura Lee Hope. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Sean McGahey and Sarah. Chapter 21 Mr. Ravenwood. Bunny Brown and his sister Sue stood with Harry Slater and his mother on the beach and watched the wind and tide bringing nearer and nearer to shore the floating box as it came into plainer view the children could see there was no ordinary refuse of the sea like a broken orange or lemon box some of which flooded ashore at belmere that's a nice good box said bunny as he watched it bobbing up and down on the waves it's a box just like mr foswick the carpenter makes and it isn't broken either added sue usually the boxes she and her brother found on the beach were empty and smashed maybe it has something in it suggested harry oh wouldn't it be funny if my dog was in it he cried now how could your dog be in it dear asked his mother sandy was lost on shore how could he be out in the ocean well maybe after he jumped out of our auto he went on a boat and maybe the boat sank and he got in his box like a little boat and now he's coming back to me exclaimed harry oh no you mustn't hope for any such good luck as that said his mother with a smile if sandy were in that box you would hear him barking and besides that box seems to be tightly nailed or screwed shut we'll soon see what's in it for it is coming ashore she added maybe it's sandy insisted harry i don't think there's any dog in it, Sue remarked, but maybe there's pirate's gold. Maybe, assented Bunny. What's pirate's gold, asked Harry. It's gold the robber pirates take off ships, explained Bunny, and they put it in boxes, and then they bring it on shore and bury it in the sand, and then they make a map in red ink so they won't forget where they buried the box, and then they go off and get more gold, the pirates do. What makes them bury the gold they already have? asked Terry. So nobody can find it, explained Bunny. Bunny and Sue liked to hear tales of the sea. Bunker Blue had told them some, and I am afraid they were not altogether true, however interesting they were. But that can't be a pirate's box, said Sue, because I don't see any pirates, and they wouldn't send a box to shore all by itself. No, agreed Bunny. I guess they wouldn't, because a box couldn't bury itself in the sand. But I think there's something in this box. It does seem so, said Mrs. Slater, who was now quite as interested as were the children. Look, she went on, it is going to come ashore at that little point. Let's walk out on it, and we can pull it up on the sand. A little tongue of land extended out into the water near the spot where they were standing, and soon Bunny, his sister, and Harry and Mrs. Slater were out on the very tip of it, waiting for the box to be washed ashore. The tide was rising, and the waves were still rather high on account of the storm. Nearer and nearer the box came, but when it was almost at the point of land, it seemed about to be washed away, farther up the coast. Oh, it is going past us, exclaimed Mrs. Slater. I can wade in and get it, said Bunny. I'll take off my shoes and stockings and get it. And, sitting down, he began to do this. I don't want to take off my shoes. You can get it without me, Bunny, remarked Sue. May I wade in, Mother? asked Harry. It isn't deep, said Bunny, as Mrs. Slater hesitated, and we won't have to wade out very far. All right, agreed Harry's mother with a smile. You two boys may wade in, and Sue and I will watch you, but maybe the box will be too heavy for you. Oh, no, exclaimed Bunny, as Harry began taking off his shoes and stockings. Things in the water move easily. I can push or pull a big boat all alone if it's in the water, but I can't if it's on land, and the box isn't very big. I wonder what's in it, said Sue, as her brother and Harry prepared to wade out. Maybe it's a lot of dolls from China. What makes you think it might be that? asked Mrs. Slater as she put the boy's shoes and stockings up on the sand. Once some Chinese dolls came ashore at Bellamere, said Sue. I got one, but her eyes were washed out. I always had to make believe she was asleep. How did they happen to come ashore? asked Mrs. Slater. 
a ship that was coming from china got wrecked explained sue and the boxes with the dolls in washed up on shore but i guess this isn't a doll box she added it doesn't look so said harry's mother it seems to be a very heavy case such as machinery comes in but of course there can't be machinery in it or it would sink and there can't be a dog in it or he'd smother added sue cause the cover is nailed on tight the box was near the point of land now and bunny and harry were waiting out to get it miss slater and sue could see that the box was a square one about three feet long and as many high and wide and there was a cover on it catch hold now cried bunny to harry and then the two boys took hold of the sides of the box and easily guided it up to the beach it soon grounded in the shallow water but it was so heavy that when bunny and harry had got it to the shore of the point of land they could move it no further it's nailed tight shut all around bunny said as he looked on all four sides ain't there a cover that you can put back like on a trunk she wanted to know no there ain't answered harry or if there was a hinge it would show they always do oh what do you think can really be in it cried sue dancing around in excitement maybe it's a boat chest of some sort suggested bunny who had heard captain ross speak of such things from china well i guess it couldn't come from as far away as that of course it couldn't declared harry children i think we have made quite a fine said miss slater she looked carefully at the box i wonder to whom it belongs there's name printed on it over here said bunny pointing to the side of the box turned away from shore what does it say asked miss slater for she could not look without stepping into the water there's an f and an r and an a and an n and a k said bunny slowly that spells frank said miss slater what else is there bunny spelled out the rest of the name and also an address well then it would seem this box belongs to a mr frank ravenwood of seagate said harry's mother is there anything else on that side bunny no um he answered frank ravenwood of seagate went on miss slater where is seagate bunny it's on the coast just down below where we live was the answer then we can write and tell mr ravenwood of seagate that we have his box that was washed ashore went on harry's mother but we must get it higher up on the beach or it will wash away again i wonder but suddenly she stopped for sue gave a cry of alarm and pointed toward shore oh look exclaimed the little girl look end of chapter twenty one